Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is kamikaze drones. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. The advent of low-cost drones and loitering munitions, often referred to as kamikaze drones, has significantly altered the landscape of modern warfare. India is also embracing this technology with its own indigenous loitering munitions, which have the potential to reshape its defense strategy. Now let's discuss about what are loitering munitions. Loitering munitions, also known as suicide drones or kamikaze drones, combine the surveillance capability of unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs) with the precision of guided missiles. Unlike traditional missiles that follow a fixed trajectory, these munitions loiter in a target area, identifying and striking targets at the opportune moment. Key features: they wait passively in the air until a target emerges. They have the ability to track and strike at the right moment, ensuring precision. They are cost-effective and provide faster reaction times compared to other weapons. Initially used in the 1980s for suppression of enemy air defenses (AS SEAD), loitering munitions have evolved over time and now serve multiple purposes, including anti-personnel, anti-armor, and targeting critical infrastructure. Now let's talk about loitering munitions in modern conflicts. The effectiveness of loitering munitions has been clearly demonstrated in recent conflicts. Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, 2020, both Azerbaijan and Armenia extensively used drones, including loitering munitions for reconnaissance and targeted strikes. Russia-Ukraine war, 2022, loitering munitions played a pivotal role in the war of attrition between Russia and Ukraine. While Russia focused on large-scale targets, Ukraine utilized loitering munitions to target moving personnel on the front lines, effectively changing the dynamics of the conflict. Middle East, Israel and Iran have heavily relied on loitering munitions like the Harop and Shahid 136 drones, respectively. The Shahid 136 in particular has shown how low-cost drones can overwhelm sophisticated air defense systems. Now let's discuss about the cost effectiveness of kamikaze drones. Experts have pointed out that the low cost of loitering munitions compared to their destructive potential makes them a force multiplier in modern warfare. For instance, a single 500 USD loitering drone can destroy a 10 million USD tank. This dramatic cost to damage ratio has highlighted the urgent need for robust counter drone systems such as electronic warfare tools and kinetic interceptors. Now lastly moving on to India's indigenous loitering munitions. India has made significant strides in developing its own loitering munitions. The Indian Army recently received 480 Nagastra 1 loitering munitions manufactured by a Nagpur based firm Solar Industries. These munitions with over 75% indigenous content are lightweight, man portable and intended for precision strikes. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about loitering munitions. 1. Loitering munitions combine the surveillance capabilities of UAVs with the precision of guided missiles. 2. Traditional missiles and loitering munitions follow the same predetermined trajectory for targeting. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications